Hello there! Day 58 of the Ewan mcgregor -thon, and today I will be watching Zoe. And this film, if I have it right, is about synthetic humans and how they can learn to love. So I am imagining a Westworld type of film. The poster looks uh, pretty, but that's really all I can say about it. It is the first Netflix original film on the Ewan McGregor list. And uh, also the only one, so I don't know why it's at first. And uh, yeah, I mean a film about robots who learn to love. Um, that sounds interesting. I don't know whether Ewan McGregor is going to play a robot or a human that the robot falls in love with. Or maybe the film is about two robots falling in love with each other. I don't know. I will find out shortly and then I will let you know after I've seen the film. This film felt like a really long and less intense episode of Black Mirror. It, it really had some Black Mirror vibes except that it was less shocking. It's about a woman who uh, is in love with a colleague of hers and uh, they work on robotics and they are developing synthetic uh, people and then eventually it turns out that she herself is a robot. And the film was quite boring. Not a lot happened. I, I couldn't find myself interested for the first hour or so. Uh, but then something happened and I started feeling a bit for these characters. But in the end, uh, it wasn't really worth my time, I think. If I wanted something like that, I would have either watched Westworld or Black Mirror. It's kind of a combination of the two shows. Y Ewan McGregor was good. Uh, he, he was... His acting was great in this film. I didn't really like his haircut. I don't know why he had that, considering that in a promotional video he had uh, his long spiky hair, so... I don't know why he had a buff skirt, but uh, I didn't really like that, but oh well. He also was Scottish again in this film, and yeah, he was great. Wasn't a big fan of the actress that played so. Yeah, she was fine, I guess, but not really memorable. And I, I think that sums this film up perfectly fine, but not really memorable. And that is why I'm going to give this film a 6 out of 10. Tomorrow I'm going to watch Christopher Robin, so do join me for that, and I will see you tomorrow.